Anything else, sir? A warm up. Sure. Anything else? No, thank you. There, page two. Would have been a headline if the mayor had knocked himself. Maybe. Can't this paper have a title that's not a joke? The Ripper of Boston. Couldn't have come up with a better one myself. Not true. Anyone who wrote that new abomination of yours could surely come up with that title. What's your new one called? Conflict of War? Soldiers of Conflict. This time I finally got a good war film. So what were you doing in the last three, then? At least I didn't spend my last dime on a film that didn't make five bucks. I happen to be proud of Senseless Diversion. It was moving. Yeah like shit on a conveyor belt. Sneer if you want, but at least I don't compromise my work for the siren call of money. You need money to make films. That's why you're unemployed. I'm fundraising! <laughs> Remember our deal. Let the contest decide which one of us is better, once and for all. Fine. Well, I think, in fact, this clinches our... Making it the second body found in what the public has dubbed the Codex Killing. While experts across the country have been called in to decipher the codes at each scene, so far there have been no leads. The police are currently questioning all witnesses. Do those numbers mean anything? Of course they do. It's... What? I'm expressing the male gaze. So, two and two. Another ammo. I guess it's time for round three.
God damn it! For Christ's sakes, a working man can't even get a decent job in this city. But that's never really mattered to me. It's about the people. Sometimes emotional connection is more important than money. I knew you'd be here. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Each one one game. This is where we are. It's how it has to end? Yeah. That waitress would have looked good inside out, though. This seem right to you? No. No, it doesn't. What do you think? You take that side, I'll take this one. Or what? Nah, it doesn't mean much. You took home Best Director. I had ten nominations and got nothing. Yeah. At least people cheered for mine. They didn't for mine? The five that seen it did. Oh, come on, Arthur. You barely made a dime on this picture. If it hadn't won something, you'd be unemployed. How many awards did you get again? How much did you make? Morgan, someday you have to stop worrying about money. Why should I? It's my way of keeping score. <laughs> Easy to think you're winning when you make the rules, isn't it? Say what you want, Arthur. At least my movies get seen. The only people that look at yours are old white guys and pretentious college kids. Because let's face it, they're unwatchable. You know, if I could make it through one of your lowbrow, idiot, pandering sideshows, 
That's exactly the way I describe it. Why are we arguing? We practically made the same film. Violent, psychologically disturbing murder mysteries. We don't accomplish what we want. The people we wanted to see it saw it. You, you made money. You got awards. The approaches were very different, though. God, yes. Did you see that blood? No. A lot of rope and screaming. Very different approaches. So, which one of us is right? <laughs> On film, we'll never be able to make it fair. In real life. We haven't done that since. Since we staged bank robberies to see which techniques were fit. No. These are murder scenes. The one thing everyone says we do best. Apart from beating up each other in bombs. Yeah. We're gonna do this. We have to do it right. Somewhere where everyone could see it and judge for themselves. The need. Perfect. Newspapers and TV. This is perfect. I mean, let's face it, we, we kill off a dozen characters in the movie, and, and I like those characters a hell of a lot more than I like real people. Does this make us sociopath? No. We're not, Arthur. Remember, we're directors. Message three? You're on. I'm satisfied, you? I should think so. So then, five paces? Ten. You sure? More dramatic. interrupt your regularly scheduled program to bring you this special report. Behind this door lies one of the strangest crime scenes ever seen in this city. This station was first made aware of what happened when two letters were hand delivered to our offices this morning. The bodies of well-known writer-directors Arthur Bardiche and Morgan Meeseport were found inside. I both appear to Whatever have been I murdered, and though Detective Merlin lose. of the Boston Police declined comment, it is rumored that the police have no leads as yet to the identity of the killer. We'll keep you updated on what some are already calling the most spectacular and creative crime scene seen in years. I'm sure their critics would agree. In other news...